Hello everybody and today I am going to talk about a couple of companies that uh, are uh, having some controversy as of 2020 and they're both companies that I'm familiar with and was extremely shocked to learn uh, the information that I'm about to tell you right now. The first company that I am going to talk about is a company that um, when they first came out or at least I should say in my local mall. When the store was coming to my local mall, it was a huge thing. The storefront was absolutely adorable. It was right across the way from Sephora. People were excited to get in there, wanted to buy the product. It's high-end product. Super, super exciting, right? Well, I thought so too, but I never bought any of it. For some reason, I don't know why, but for some reason my gut just always said, no, don't go in there. So I never did. I never bought any of their products. I've never been into one of their stores. I don't know why. I didn't know why then, but now I know. It's something that I just never really thought about. And I assumed that this company was a cruelty-free company. I just assumed it. Boy, was I wrong. Well, sort of wrong. All right, that company is MAC Cosmetics. And MAC Cosmetics' parent is Estee Lauder. Now, as of five or six years ago, I wore Estee Lauder for years and years. I loved it. I spent a fortune on Estee Lauder. And as of five or six years ago, I stopped wearing it because I started to have breakouts from it, like really bad allergic reactions to it. So I stopped and I never looked into it. Like I just was like, oh, my body chemistry has changed. You know, I'm getting older. My body chemistry is now changing. That's probably what it is. I never looked into it to see if they were cruelty free or not. For some reason, I just never even thought about it. I guess I just assumed that they were, but they were not. So this, what I'm about to read from you right now I pulled from the MAC website. Everything that I'm about to read to you came from the MAC website. So let's begin. MAC is not cruelty free. MAC Cosmetics sells its products in stores in mainland China where animal testing is mandatory for all imported cosmetics. As a result, MAC pays and allows its products to be tested on animals when required by law. In addition, MAC is owned by Estee Lauder, a parent company that is also not cruelty free. MAC Cosmetics Cruelty Free Claims Working toward a cruelty free world. MAC does not test on animals. We do not own any animal testing facilities and we never ask others to test on animals for us. While some governments conduct animal testing to prove safety before they will allow us to sell our products, MAC has never tested on animals and we continue to be a leader in the movement to end animal testing globally. To this end, we are proud to partner with IIVS, which stands for Institute for In Vitro Sciences, to expand the use and acceptance of non-animal testing methods worldwide. On the website, MAC claims they do not test on animals. However, they state that some governments conduct animal testing because, before they're allowed to sell their products there. Basically, okay, so the way that I understand it is if your products are made in China and sold in China, they are tested on animals. If your products are made in China but not sold in China, they do not have to be tested on animals. That's the way that I, I took further reading on their website. Uh, many truly cruelty brand, cruel, cruelty free brands, sorry about that, have chosen not to sell their products in China because of the country's animal testing laws. But Mac on their website says um, that they, uh, do, 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 where is it? Uh, 
I can't find it. Anyway, on theirs it says, oh, here it is. We love China tests on animals as part of its safety assessment of cosmetics products. We love our fans and we never want to exclude them anywhere. So, yeah. I don't, I don't, like, I, you're saying that you've joined with the Institute for In Vitro Sciences, okay, but you didn't say when. It's not specified when. And you say you don't want to exclude your customers anywhere in the world. But you know China's laws. You know that those products, if you're going to sell them in China, have to be tested on animals as part of China's law. And this is as of 2020. Um, I would not consider MAC to be a cruelty-free brand at this point. No. Uh, there are lots of websites that will give you a list of uh, cosmetics brands that are cruelty free. So if you're interested to know about a brand or if you're wearing a brand right now and you're not sure if it's cruelty free or not, then I would definitely look at one of the websites and, uh, and find out if it is or not. Uh, most of the products that are cruelty free or vegan will have a bunny on them or they'll just say cruelty free or they'll have some sort of symbol that that alerts you that yes this is a cruelty free product um, and here are some questions and answers that were in the uh, frequently asked questions section from the Mac uh, website that I thought were interesting which countries require animal testing China <laughs> China tests on animals as part of its safety assessment of cosmetic products. We love our fans and we never want to exclude them anywhere. Uh, how does MAC test its products for safety and efficiency? We use human volunteers and we conduct our commission in vitro testing. Okay, but you just, you've already stated that China by law has to test on animals. So they're leaving that part out. That's how they're tricking you. They're, they're leaving out the part that they have to test on animals and human volunteers and in vitro testing. They, they left out the animal testing part. Does MAC own any animal testing facilities? No, we don't own any animal testing facilities anywhere in the world. Well, of course they don't. China has their own. <laughs> What is the Institute for In Vitro Sciences? The Institute for In Vitro Sciences, or IIVS, develops and implements programs in countries where in vitro testing is not accepted in order to educate scientists on the scientifically validated safety record of these methods. We are proud to announce a new partnership with IIVS to help ensure that alternative testing becomes the global standard. By funding IIVS's outreach program, we are working to make a difference. The IOP provides a wide array of support, including technical assistance in the form of lectures, workshops, and hands-on training sessions to countries that rely on animal testing to determine the safety of products or ingredients. This information came out as of 2020. So, Going into 2021, I'm assuming that they will further uh, start using the IIVS. However, it, the, the website is still the same. Nothing has changed. So they have flown under the radar for many, many years, apparently. And no one's questioned if they're cruelty free, apparently, until more recently. And then they realized, oh crap, you know, we're, we got to, uh, to become cruelty free because more and more people are switching to cruelty free brands. And if we want to continue to sell to our people in China, but yet we want to go cruelty free, this is what we're going to have to do, which is a good plan. It is a very good plan. However, you tried to trick people. You tried to fly under the radar for several years until 
people started to wonder about your company and started poking and finding out that you're not cruelty free. And Estee Lauder has not been cruelty free for decades. They go back decades. So my opinion, uh, they're not cruelty free like they say they are. Not, not yet. I, I feel like it's coming, but not yet. They're still not cruelty free. Now, if you are a person that wears the Mac, wears Estee Lauder, and you're proud of it, and you're not going to stop, even though you know they're not cruelty free, I want to know down in the comments section below um, what makes you love their product so much uh, that you will not switch to a product that is similar that is cruelty free. Because there are tons of cruelty free brands out there. I just want to know what keeps you coming back to Mac. Do you, you know, is it because you don't care? Which is fine uh, if you don't care about the animal testing. I totally get that. Um, but I'm just curious to know. Um, so also uh, the second company that I want to talk about is also based in China and it's a company called Shine. And if you look back at some of the videos on my channel, you'll see that a few months ago, or maybe it was last month, I can't remember, I was excited that I had won a contest from Shine and I did an unboxing video. And I showed all the products that I got from them. Um, up until recently, like we're talking a few weeks ago, folks, um, I was under the impression that... Um, that Shine was legit. Like, I knew that their products were probably going to be, you know, cheaply made because they're selling them dirt cheap. I wasn't naive to that. So I knew that, you know, the product wasn't going to be top of the line, but I won the contest. And to be honest, I never win anything. So I think I was more, uh, <laughs> I was more excited that I won something versus what I actually won. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I was looking through Instagram one day and I came across a uh, comment that someone had left on a Shine post and it said something to the effect of, um, when are you going to stop stealing from small business owners? When are you going to stop stealing their um, photos and product ideas and not giving them money for it? And of course, you could tell the the response was by a bot. Um, and I was like, what? Whoa, where, what's, what is this? So I did further uh, research on it. And sure enough, the claim started in 2016. And it started when people were saying that Shine was taking their um, stock photo of products that they made by hand and putting it onto their website, promoting it that it's their product, and then they were making knockoffs of that product and not giving compensation to the original small business owner that actually made these products by hand. And that started in 2016. And that was some artwork too that, that has been uh, discovered. As of recently, and this was 2020, I believe, when this happened, um, a woman came forward and said that Shine had stolen her ideas of a product that she had um, and passed it off as their own. She was a small online business owner. She made shirts that had bees on it that were actually embroidered. And she was selling them for like, I think, 30 some dollars each. Um, but these were handmade. Shine took that exact same pattern, exactly, to the T. And used a like Cricut-like machine, it looked like. And put that print on their shirts and were selling them for $1.99. Plus shipping. Can you believe that? not giving her any credit and and used her stock and tried to use her stock photo they positioned the shirts the exact same 
position, the exact same background, everything. And she never got compensated for it. And she's not the only one that they have done this to. Apparently there are several people that are now coming forward. Some of them are getting the law involved, even. And I don't blame them. I certainly would. Once again, the products are made in China. And, um, you know, they're very low quality. Very low quality. I mean, some of the stuff that I got is already falling apart. And I haven't even worn it yet. Or used it. And it's already falling apart. Um, so, like I said, it is, you know, low quality. But I wasn't expecting anything fantastic as cheap as they sell their clothes. I wasn't expecting anything great, to be quite honest. Um, but I will never buy anything from And I'm glad I did not spend my hard-earned money on them. Uh, so if you have bought from Shine or just... I want to know down in the comment section below what's your opinions on these two companies that are trying to fool people and uh, make you think that you know everything's fine and and you know that uh, as far as Mac goes about do you believe that Mac is cruelty free or not cruelty free what's your opinion on that and on Shine do you think that Shine should be ashamed uh, <laughs> um, you know it, it's ridiculous. I feel like somebody needs to take Shine down. I really do. I feel like they do not need to exist anymore. I'm sorry, but that's just how I feel. Um, and if you're a small business owner, um, I hope that if you find a, a company like that, that has tried to knock off your product and you're not getting compensation for it, that you would go and get a lawyer and file a lawsuit definitely all right folks this is miss laddie da and that's going to be it for this video for now if you know of a company that you feel is trying to scam the american people leave it down in the uh, comment section below i'd be happy to research it and possibly do a video about it this is miss laddie da saying ta-ta